coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Troubles and all, Pipistrel to be acquired by Textron. Balloon lifted space capsule prototype revealed. Mars helicopter completes Flight 21, future operations outlined. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Troubles and all, Pipistrel to be acquired by Textron. Textron appears to be ready to buy up lightweight electric aircraft manufacturer Pipistrel. The acquisition may see the same benefits given to other brands under the Textron banner, granting access to, quote, greater resources, technical, and regulatory expertise, end quote, says the company. The deal will also unlock a, quote, global aircraft sales and support network, enabling it to accelerate its development and certification of electric and hybrid aircraft, end quote. Maybe. Not discussed, though, is the state of resolution, or lack thereof, concerning complaints and in-process litigation lodged against Pipistrel by former North American distributor Michael Coates, who claims hundreds of thousands of dollars, over $600,000 at last count, owed to him by Evo Boscarol and Pipistrel. Additionally, a number of complaints have been made and or published about the Slovenian company by owners, dealers, and former dealers. There are also a number of ponderous issues being brought up as to the conduct of the personnel and company that ultimately was appointed to take Coates' place, Wright Rudder Aviation, who has refused to discuss the matter officially due to the legal issues surrounding the situation. The buy was supposed to accelerate Textron's sustainable aerotech capabilities and positions Pipistrel to further hone its brand as the green, ecologically friendly subsidiary under a new segment, Textron E-Aviation. Coming up after the break, Falcon 6X completes Arctic testing. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Falcon 6X completes Arctic testing. The Dassault Falcon 6X has completed its far north cold soak testing, successfully proving its capabilities even in some of the harshest conditions. The test saw one of three initial testbed Falcons flown to a small tundra down in the far Canadian north. During the evaluation, Ecolowit saw temps as low as negative 35 degrees Fahrenheit, the perfect conditions to evaluate the plane's performance when pressed into service in extreme conditions. Webb Telescope Successfully Aligns NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has successfully completed the alignment of its multifaceted mirror system, completing a key stage of its preparations for use in the coming months. The Webb team announced completion of the fine phasing stage of preparation for the imaging systems, ensuring that no measurable contamination or blockage to the telescope's optical path have accumulated throughout its brief journey thus far. The team can now rest easy, reasonably assured that the complex system will deliver once the majority of its systems come fully online. Ameriflight parts subsidiary buys Beechcraft 1900 Hall. Ameriflight Components and Exchanges, the recently created parts and trading business spun out by its namesake airline, has completed the purchase of a large Beechcraft 1900 inventory. The acquisition is a multi-million dollar deal, setting the young company up with a considerable amount of parts inventory less than six months after their foundation. 
The purchase includes King Air parts for more than 3,300 parts lines with more than 80,000 individual pieces. Genesis begins development on 4th Axis Autopilot. Genesis Aerosystems has begun work on a refined and improved iteration of its Helisas Autopilot and Stability Augmentation System. The change will see the addition of a 4th Axis for the Autopilot, bringing hover and hold capability with a control for the collective. The functionality gives pilots a single button access point to hold the aircraft in a stable, fixed position hover. The collective control enables constant, proper speed correction where needed, allowing for truly hands-free operation with a single key press. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Balloon lifted space capsule prototype revealed. Worldview, a balloon-based space tourism company, has debuted its passenger capsule prototype ahead of expected commercial flights in 2024. The capsule is the first look at the all-day accommodations granted to passengers aboard the Worldview experience, an important design given the length of time that travelers will spend on board. During their flight, passengers will load up and take off before dawn from the Worldview spaceport, rising up slowly to 100,000 feet. The trip all the way to peak altitude and back down will result in a journey from 6 to 12 hours, a long time to be staring out the windows. To alleviate any boredom while en route, the capsule contains paired seating for eight with a cocktail table, LCD screens with educational materials regarding the tour, beverage holders, and personal storage space. Each capsule will be outfitted with an onboard telescope to maximize the views for regions of particular interest with an extensive panoramic view out the large elliptical windows. The capsule is equipped for a lengthy journey with lavatories, libations, and custom dining options with fully supported streaming and mobile communications capabilities throughout the journey. After these messages, Mars Helicopter completes Flight 21. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Mars Helicopter successfully completes Flight 21 Future Operations Outlined. Ingenuity's mission has been extended through the coming months, guaranteeing its operation through September of 2022. The little helicopter has survived the harsh Martian seasons and continued its brief flights in a display of endurance that has vastly outperformed expectations held by the NASA engineers in charge of the project. Since landing alongside the Perseverance rover in the summer of 2020, the Flyweight helicopter has completed 21 flights in all, seven times its originally planned mission as a tech demonstration program. The helicopter has spent almost two years weathering the elements, faithfully soldiering onward with a series of carefully engineered and considered operational changes to maintain flight capability in shifting environmental parameters. Upcoming flights will attempt to take the helicopter outside of the open, flat terrain it has ventured through so far and into the rocky, craggy river delta of the Jezero Crater. The new location has been made available through a series of remote software updates to the helicopter, enabling higher altitude and speed adjustments while in flight. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.